Red team or blue team? Which side should you choose? If you're getting into cybersecurity, you probably heard these terms before, but what exactly do they mean? Today, I am going to break it all down with simple analogies, real world examples, and help you figure out which path is right for you. If this is your first time seeing my videos, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been in the cybersecurity industry for about nine years now, mainly within the security operations domain. And on this channel, you will find various videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and software-related projects that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. Now, one of the questions that I hear a lot from beginners is, should I focus on red team or blue team? And the truth is, it really depends on the individual and what they like most. So let's start with what is red team? The red team is essentially the attacking side. Their job is to simulate real world cyber attacks against a company to find weaknesses before the real attackers do. Now, you want to think of them like burglars, testing how easy it is to break into a house. Imagine that you hire a professional burglar to break into your house. They'll test every lock, window, and entry point. They might even try to trick you into letting them in by pretending to be a delivery driver. Their goal, their ultimate goal, is to find the vulnerabilities and report them before someone with bad intention does. And that is one of the many things that a red teamer would do in cybersecurity. Common red team roles may include penetration testers, social engineers, and red team operators. They utilize tools like Metasploit, Cobalt Strike, Kali Linux, and many others to simulate different stages of an attack. Now, you might be wondering, what is the difference between penetration testing and red team operations? Now, penetration testing, at least from my understanding, usually focuses on finding vulnerabilities quickly. It's like checking whether your doors and windows are locked, whereas a red team operator goes deeper. They simulate a full-scale attack campaign, planning the attack, gaining access, moving laterally, escalating privileges, and stealing sensitive data. And they try to do this all without getting caught. Now, companies do utilize red team operations to assess not only their technology, but also how well their people and processes hold up under pressure. They want to know, can our security tools detect this? Can our SOC analysts respond in time? And more importantly, what can we fix before a real attacker shows up? Now that you know a little bit more about the red team, let's move on to what is the blue team? The blue team is essentially the defending side. Their job is to monitor, detect, and respond to cyber threats to keep the organization safe. If red teams simulate the attack, blue teams are the defender on the front line. Imagine that you're the homeowner. You install security cameras, alarms, and motion sensors. You watch for suspicious behavior. And if something were to trigger the alarm, you respond immediately. And that is what blue teamers do in cybersecurity. Common blue team roles can include SOC analysts, threat hunters, incident responders, and forensic investigators. They utilize tools like Splunk, Elastic, and Microsoft Sentinel to perform the queries to identify suspicious activity. They also rely on endpoint protection tools like CrowdStrike, Microsoft Defender, and Sentinel-1 to name a few, to detect and respond to threats. Blue team operations are all about defense, both reactive and proactive. They build alerting systems, they hunt for threats that bypass traditional controls, they investigate suspicious behavior, and they continuously improve the environment based on the new techniques and tactics. Here is a real world example. Let's say that a user clicks on a phishing link. The blue team will then detect the unusual activity, investigates the incident, contains the affected system, and then updates policies to prevent it from happening again. While the red team focuses on simulating the attack, the blue team focuses on preparing for it, defending against it, and responding in real time. But what if you're interested in both sides, the attacking and defending side? That is where purple team comes in. So what is purple team? Purple teams are the bridge between red and blue. They take insights from the red team operations on what worked and what got past defenses. And they also help the blue team improve their detection and response capabilities. Imagine a security consultant walking through your home with the mindset of a burglar. 
They find weak locks, blind spots, and give you feedback on how you can improve your defenses. Purple team roles could include threat intelligence analysts, detection engineers, and security researchers. They create better detection rules and they help organizations shift from reactive to proactive defenses. So which one is right for you? Now that you know what each team does, how do you decide which one is right for you? Well, if you do enjoy thinking like an attacker, finding weaknesses, and simulating breaches, red teaming might be for you. You can start with penetration testing and then move into a full red team operation. If you do prefer defending systems, analyzing threats, and responding to incidents, then the blue team might be a better fit. You can start as a SOC analyst, then move into threat hunting, incident response, or forensics. And if you're interested in both sides and want to improve how organizations detect and respond, you might enjoy working in a purple team role, where you usually start in either red or blue, then transition into a detection engineer or a threat intelligence analyst. At the end of the day, there is no wrong choice. The key is to start with what feels exciting to you and then build real world skills as you grow. To recap, Red team simulates real world cyber attacks to find weaknesses. Blue team defends against attacks and strengthens systems. Purple team connects both sides to improve detection and response. If you're just getting started, pick a path that interests you the most. You can always pivot later. Now I wanna hear from you. Are you leaning more towards the red team or blue team? Or maybe you're thinking about purple team. Drop a comment down below and let me know. That is it for the video and I hope that you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.